recorded 1,210 accidents, and then out of which 141 were fatality. Okay, we are here with the uh, Commissioner of Wire Traffic, Kinkoli. Kinkoli, can you please tell us um, what are the main causes of the Rampa Road accidents that are happening currently in the country? Uh, thank you very much to you people and also the viewers. Your question is very, very important. You have many causes of accidents. It runs almost 30 to 36 causes of accidents. But the present ones that we witness uh, are as a result of overspeeding and then reckless or careless driving, which resulted to many, many accidents in the Batin Hadin Highway. And also of recent, the Brikama Bashe Highway in between uh, Queenala towards. Um, uh, Pakaliba. Uh, uh, last two days, we have witnessed where a sprinter Gelegele 36 seater with a truck collided, and four people lost their life on sports, and the other two at the hospital, uh, resulting to six dead. And then the Two days before that, another accident happened, which I would call a mechanical defeat accident, because the tires I learned was bust, and the driver cannot control the steering, and the vehicle entered into the booth and somersaulted, resulted four people dead on spots. So I didn't mean, this is what we said, over speeding is very, very, uh, 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 it's good for someone to reduce your speed. I didn't mean he was not on a high speed. One that I got bus can able to control the vehicle. But because of the overspeeding, <coughs> he failed to control the vehicle and it's retorted to uh, loss of life. Yes, yeah, so how do you handle such situations that, uh, when we say a serious accident happens where so many people lost their life? As the of the how do you handle such situations? Yeah, um, accident is not a responsibility of mobile traffic commissioner alone, but this is a collective responsibility to every Gambian, particularly the drivers, the people who are using the vehicles. They should put in consideration that the life they may save, it could be their own life. Let them abide by to the rules and regulations or about the Motor Traffic Act, where it is stated no speeding above 25 to 30 kilometers per hour or in non residential areas 70 kilometers per hour. If we all put our minds together and our efforts together, we can able to avert the common and current accidents that are occurring on our roads. Um, we're doing everything possible to make sure that we minimize, we reduce accidents. No accidents are unavoidable. That's why we call them accidents. But attitudes also contributed to the frequent currency of accidents. That warrant the high command of the police led by the Inspector General of Police. We call for an emergency meeting in his office and then we put the ideas together, particularly he contributed a lot to make sure that we have on Batin Hadden Highway, every 500 meters we post the police officer with cons. These police officers are combined officers, the mobile traffic officers and the PIU who are in jackets to make sure that if we see a speeding vehicle coming towards them just to raise their hands and ask the driver to slow down. Coupled with cones, all where the police officers are stationed, we have about six or minimum three cones just to avert them to avoid overspeeding.
So, and then not only that, we are coming with a unit called the Highway Patrol Team. And the Highway Patrol Team, sooner or later we will start the Highway Patrol. We couldn't stop there again. The police went far extent to buy new motor bicycles of total totality now six and we are intending to buy more all because of to save life so the way and manner the police are putting on uh, concentration on this highway particularly the rate of uh, dates that we, 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 we that the rate of date that happens during accidents if other units and institutions joins with the police, you can able to minimize it to our lower level. And then we are calling all private privacy institutions, government, departments, parastatals to come together, join with the Gambia Police Force, particularly mobile traffic, in any form of assistance that we could do to make sure that we abort the accident. When we say assistant, this is a government institution. We don't go to, to beg, but we can put the minds together. We can put strategies together to make sure that these accidents are avoidable. Yeah. Okay, what special treat are you going to give um, the OIC road uh, along the uh, toll table to uh, super traffic line? Because mostly, the uh, day they for more than an accident, you have them uh, at least benefit while they are doing many Well, the, the treatment that we are doing at Baton Harden, I said is so. That that's why the police are there in every 50, 500 meters. We make sure that we post police to ask the drivers to slow down their speed. And uh, not only that, we have some cones that we put on the highway, you know, to, to ask uh, that will make sure that the drivers, I mean, reduce their speed. But I mean, uh, we can be doing this all efforts and whatever, keep on talking and so. But if you don't change our attitude, our attitude, I will say this in local language. Shinjiko, Najikolu, Nima Falin, Nkamotobor in the Nyami, the way and manner we drive the car. The way and manner we go on speed, wallahi, the accident we will do all the effort and then it will not be a bad. So we have to come together. I mean, I mean, go with the rules and regulations that is guiding us on the highway. Let's observe them. Let's obey them. That will make sure we, we reduce the speed or we reduce the, uh, the rate of accidents, particularly fatality in the country. Yeah, we have taken so much of your time. Just my last question. Um, can you tell us roughly how many uh, accidents have uh, mobile traffic recorded so far? It's just three months of 2024, less than three months. So can you tell us roughly the number? Uh, actually, I don't have that data. I know I have monthly collection data, but the one, the year that we are out of, that is 2023, we recorded 1,200 and 10 accidents and then out of which 141 were fatality so you see accidents are serious ones we have so many diseases as i said uh, but where a disease a particular disease we just take the life of six people at a go or at a spot or in a minute i don't think it is happening this only occurred in a road crisis. In one minute, it can kill more than six or ten people. So, it should be a concern. You, the journalists, it should be a concern. And you should be the key players. If you don't know this, I may commit it. Be a key player to avoid this road fatality. Why? If you keep on advertising, if you keep on posting, if you keep on sensitizing people, if you keep on updating people, definitely they will know that this is what is happening and they will control and then abide by the advice given to them. But if you all fall out, unless you, when an accident happens, you hear six or ten people died, you just come to have an update on that, you want to know how many people died, you want to know where it occurred, you want to know whether the driver is alive or not, it will not help. It will not help. The Englishman says, 
prevention is better than cure. So if you advertise this, we join hands together to sensitize people. We prevent them of having that accident. It's better than we recording accidents. Yeah. yeah. What would be your final message? For my final message is drive carefully. Yes. Yeah, um, as commissioner of the mm -hmm. traffic, mm -hmm. you know, there is the leading to um, the cause of accidents in the Gambia. And as you have previously said, it cannot be totally averted. But what mechanisms can we put in place to... I think I want me to take you people to lectures now. Accidents, you have so many factors of accident. Right? Overspeeding. Leaving a vehicle vehicle in dangerous position, uh, 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 leaving a disabled vehicle on the public highway, neglecting of the traffic sign board, drink and drunk, neglecting of the tra tra uh, 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 traffic sign board. I did. I mentioned that. Drink and drunk, mechanical defeat, weather conditions. These are all factors that create accident. But to Gambia here is over speeding and. Sorry to mention, overspeeding and discipline, attitudes and discipline towards our vehicles and on our roads. These are the major causes, overspeeding and attitudes. Attitude. You glance front, you didn't see a police officer. You glance behind, you didn't see a police officer. Where it is stated on the school zone, market zone, speed limit, you don't want to observe that. You are running, even if the passengers ask you, please driver, wanyil satanga, nganeko wachal, get down. Even if other passengers would say, nyundanya kamti, we are in a hurry. If you are not in a hurry, please get down. You are going for a, a, a funeral. Your relative died. For example, the last one, the second to last accident, they are going for funeral. What is the need of speeding until you, your life is taken? Drive carefully. Minimize your speed. So these are all attitudes. We must change our attitude. Attitudinal change is key factor on our road fatalities. Yes, and what I would advise the people is, let's respect the rules that are attached to driving. When I said attached to the driving, get a driving license, get a correct vehicle license, check your vehicles, check your one tires, uh, uh, and then you drive as per dictate of the road signs. If that happens, the life you may save could be your own or your family or your friend. On that note, I thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.